Hey yo. Yo yo yo. What it do, everybody? How you guys doing? Hmm. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. So what is a serranito? <laughs> Did they look it up? I thought you were gonna look it up. But a serranito is like um it's a sandwich with um Okay, so hear me out. It's a sandwich with jamón serrano. That's why it's called a serranito. So it has jamón serrano, some fried pimiento frito. <laughs> yeah. So jamón, pimiento frito. Um, what else? Oh, cheese. And some meat. I can show you the picture. But yeah. Yeah, it is super good. It is really good. But yeah, if you never had it, I'll try it one day. Did you eat uh, jamón serrano where you live? Do you usually buy jamón serrano? Yeah, a lot with my dad. Okay, so. But yeah, uh, serranito is like a special, not a special, but it's only, um, I only know about it. It's been made in the south of Spain only. One time we bought the whole leg. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. We had a, we had a few of those. Um, but lately, lately, um, I got a few from one of my uncles. But they usually what what they do? They buy their leg, right? But at the same place that you buy it, they uh, cut it up for you and they put it on the, these uh, packages so it doesn't go bad. And what you get instead of the whole leg, you get like 30 fucking packages of jamón. It's so good. <laughs> you get a lot of packages. And they're like um, um, without air package, whatever. Can you eat it with fries? Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Have you have you tried only fries and jamon? You can eat that and it's so freaking good. So fries and jamon, like patatas fritas or papas fritas. On jamon. But not the not the ones from the package. Not like you know. I'm talking about real fried like uh, french fries but yeah you should try un serranito this is so good you can do it with um uh you can meet or you can do it with um uh, cow meat or whatever doesn't matter picking one is so good the other one is good it's good too pimenton oh wait what do you mean you love pimenton Yeah, I was gonna look for a new background. 
for this game because I've I wasn't thinking about uh, putting a background for this game, but maybe I should. Let me look for a background. Um, Okay. Oh, we could use this one. Okay, let me save it. All right. Let me add it here. Image. Um, download. Let me see. Looks good. There's only one thing. Only one thing that doesn't work. Maybe we'll do it like this. Boom. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, that looks perfect. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Everything is ready. Let me uh, launch the game. Yeah, how you. <clears throat> Damn, my voice. How you doing today, Mr. Champy? So nice to see you. We're going back to Monkey Island games, finally. We have two more games to play. This one and the newest one. And then it's playing God of War. Wait, you were playing God of War today. I saw it. I saw it and yesterday too. Do you think I don't see it, boy? Oh, you guys use the same account. Oh. Oh, that's why. All right. Time to go into the game. Let's go. Let me stop the music. Okay, this time. It is time. Wait, is it working? Yes. Alright, here we go. Tales of Monkey Island. Chapter 1. Launch of the Screaming Narwhal? Don't know what that is. New game. Ah, uh, yes, I'm ready. LucasArts. Oh, so it's not only made by um, Telltale. Made by LucasArts. Who?
Shelter Games. Deep in the Caribbean, the blood of the lad. Behold, the legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. <laughs> Impressed yet? Not half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back the away heat. from my wife. Ah, Threepwood, you've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, you fight like a... No time like to a waste, cow. <laughs> Finishing chanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. Who's enchanting that it. sword? One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast. Oh, yeah. Okay, to walk around, click and drag your mouse in the direction you want to go. Try walking towards the mast on the left. <laughs> oh, you can click and drag. Okay. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck says the good as toast. They keep disease toast. The game too loud? They lowered the volume? Directions. Break cut lads with enchanted root beer. Alright, let me know. Okay, maybe better. You can also move with the uh, WASD. And you can sprint. Use the cannon. I'd fire the cannon, but Elaine jettisoned all my ammo after I accidentally sunk her mother's schooner. <laughs> Elaine. Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter. I was gonna say butter, cup, butter. but you keep cutting me off. Oh, Guybrush, can I stop the chuckle? We're all dead. Um, can't find any root beer. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked at that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in a tiny monkey coffin. Uh Are you okay? I'm fine. Finish the recipe. Okay, yes. Oh. Stop bumping into me. I wonder if there's anything useful down there. No, nothing but a bunch of lazy crewmen. I can't believe I spent so much time recruiting those guys. Wait, hey, but this it looks more like a classic Monkey Island game, right? I thought it was gonna be more like a Telltale game. You know what I mean? Elaine thought I was an idiot for buying the auto navigation option, but who's the idiot now, huh? The auto navigate? Oh, there is. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. Never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshing? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. Uh, to display your inventory, move the cursor to the Cease right edge of the screen. Or I'll gut you from gob to gizzard. Okay. Um, magnifying glass, then select the coffin. Okay. What what else we have? Oh, the mint, cutlass, the voodoo recipe. I wonder how you open this thing. 
Aha! A salty bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work <laughs> wonders on my cutlass. Yeah, now we combine this. And we equip it. Oh, perfect. So you can equip two items. Can we equip this? Oh, this is to combine them. This is how you combine the items. All right, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Flat root beer? What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Oh, don't tell me it's flat. Okay, let's mix it with this. You're probably gonna make it piss, piss, pissy. Whoa, this city. This city. So I'm, I'm an expert at Monkey Island game. <laughs> Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. But yeah, this game is completely blind for me. This is my first time playing it or even watching this game. I mean, you only have three items. What the Again. Wonderful. Okay. No, no, what did you do? Find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope it's on a lane ship because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Oh my god. <laughs> Try selecting a lane to talk to her. Elaine! <laughs> throw me a robe. Uh, throw me a robe. You've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Oh. I have a limited display. He yeah. had spent several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Without oh, I forgot to put this thing on the game. There's not an option for that my booty. in the, in my the game setting. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop the chuck. Ah, Threepwood. So good of you to join us. Save me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Oh, shit. Wait, what are we doing? Yeah. Yes! Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to LeChuck. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. <laughs> uh, to use an item from your inventory. Mm. Yes! And tap yes. the X to close your inventory and tap the object you want to use the item on. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Hit him. Oh no! <laughs> then you the chuck. Okay, gunpowder. We have gunpowder. Can we pick it up? I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. Nothing can stop me now. Can we untie land? Elaine, guy rush. Sorry it took so long to catch up with you, but I've been busy digging up arcane voodoo items. Did you miss me? Buckets. Now put this pirate out of our misery. What's LeChuck doing with all these monkeys anyway? I think it's some sort of blood sacrifice in exchange for the secret language of Plankton. Or maybe he just really hates monkeys? It's all been a little vague. That's strange. LeChuck's soul-chilling schemes are usually so well planned. Can we find Ooh, anything? Uh, oh, grog. It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste of calories or debilitating blackouts. Damn it. Yes. Yes. There's no real grog anymore. For the last time, Lechuck, I'm just not that into you. Yeah, we need to do something from the inventory. The monkey coffin. The monkey putting that poor monkey in a coffin until he's well and truly dead. 
<laughs> Which, from the looks of things, ought to be in about 10 minutes. No. Okay, okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, we're gonna use the sword to cut Elaine out of the rope. Brace yourself, I'm gonna cut you free. Cut through these ropes with that sword? Are you crazy? Crazy in love, baby. You just worry about the chuck, <laughs> sweetheart. I'll be okay. Yeah. Stop the chuck from tormenting those monkeys. The chuck. What? Look like something the cat dragged in and spat up on the floor, LeChuck. Ha! Ah, my outer shell is meaningless, you fool. Within my decaying flesh courses more voodoo power than your pitiful mind can possibly imagine. What's with all the monkeys? Are you trying to learn the secret of Monkey Island again? Nay. Now I'd be after much darker secrets. Secrets buried deep within the entrails of the monkeys of Montevideo. <laughs> Monkey entrails, of course. How silly of me. Mm. What kind of secrets do these monkeys hold? Dark secrets. Powerful secrets. Secrets. I love the boys of the literal. <laughs> You know, it's nice to see that your repeated deaths and dismemberments haven't dampened your enthusiasm. Is the same voice actor um, from Special Edition 1 and 2, right? Apparently he passed away. A shame. Um, it's sad too. Would you mind releasing my wife? She gets a little cranky when she's tied up for more than an hour or so. Your wife? Nay, Elaine is destined to be my bride. Didn't you used to be a ghost? Or a demon? Or maybe it was a zombie. A zombie? Ah, the evil of LeChuck is always evolving in new and terrifying ways. Sheep good. Okay, okay, um, yes. items. Yes. So this is still here, so we need to use more of these items with something. Nothing can stop. Nah. Nope. Oop. Nothing can. S I don't think this sword can slice open that hole. Nothing can stop me now. The movement of the boat is I'm sick. That's unnecessary. Those monkeys have surprisingly good breath. Hey, uh, uh -huh. I don't know what to do. Okay, no, no, no. Just in a way. Got the plant. Those roots could really use a trim. Oh. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. Oh wait, there. the root Punch beer. Me. Can we make our own root beer? <laughs> Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible knot rod. Ugh. This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejune. It's also flat. Huh. Maybe we can fix that. Now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey stuff, though. Do we need something to change the fa taste? Probably not. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Oh no. 
Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance! <laughs> this comment is so good. Okay. Now you died, LeChuck. LeChuck! Do you mind? I be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! <laughs> unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! <laughs> Ah, you can't defeat oh. me that easily. This dialogue is so good. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know. It's so bright. What the heck? Woof. Wait, what? I, I, I'm human. That's debatable. Wait, Wait what? Quick, finish him off. What? Oh, right. This is for the it's monkeys, a human. LeChuck. What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand. It won't... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Lane. Guybrush? Lane? No. Oh, I love it. I love it already. Oh, this is so monkey island. Cut this song a little bit short. Okay. Wait, my hand. Am I transforming into a, a ghost? Like the really? truck? Ahoy there, me hearty. What? Don't worry, we'll have you up and sucking back a grog and... No! Oh. My dude! My beautiful pirate dude! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry, I don't know what got... No, he was my friend. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin. Davy Nippikin. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? <laughs> I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, he Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says I. <laughs> Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? Um... This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand. The winds. Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped. What? Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. <laughs> Do 
Deep gut? What's a deep gut? Deep gut's my secret source for off-island news stories, and it's a good thing, too. Without the gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keel Holler Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Okay. A deal? Yeah, our filing news is nice and all. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid! You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> Chapter 1, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. I don't know what Narwhal is. Okay, we're in game. It has 900 chapters. Okay, we should talk about the settings that I've changed before we continue. So, you go into settings. Uh, by default, the hint frequency was 3 bars, like this. This was the default. I took it all out. So we're playing no hints, I guess. Um, this is like that. Audio, and this is all the graphic settings that we have. Quality 9 is the max, I think. Resolution, 1080. And that's everything. But yeah, I, I took away the hint frequency. So no hint for us. Oh, I like the transition. Oh, that's pretty sick. Alright, let's see, what do we have? Can you grab this? That's not gonna work. Maybe we can fix it. Club 41. Whoa, whoa, whoa. N E W S. Hey, the wind directions spell news. This means something. Oh. Printer's ink. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry. Lovingly harvested from squid udders. What do we have? Nothing. Okay. Let me read this. Attention. Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Hmm. Okay, let's... That uh, keeps going, and we go inside. The Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette. All the news that floats will print. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keel Hauler employees, Leafwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. <laughs> wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. Hey. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in brick. Those eye carvings are creepy. Hell? It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Oh, Good no. Good times. We're probably gonna end up behind this bar. <laughs> Any news? Oh, it's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times.
bouwen. Oh shit. From the jails, the flag and the general air of perverted justice. I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long delayed three month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, <laughs> Judge Rhinestone. Don't break any laws. Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. Ah. Oh, I like the uh, running animation. Can we go inside? Card? Card? What card? Oh. Okay. Is there anything else around this place? Okay, is there a control uh, list? No. Yeah, we don't have anything right now. We might have to use this ink. Interesting. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry. Lovingly harvested from squid udders. Or something. Hey, Davey. Tell me Nipakin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Hmm. So, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship season, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. I've still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Uh. Where does a pirate go to start a bar fight on this island? Well, the only bar around here is Club 41. Good luck starting a fight in that joint. You run a pretty tight ship over there. You know what I mean? Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungle, but they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure hunter to give you a hand. I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Okay, can we... Let's see... Oh, we can keep going this way. Of course. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Flay, pirate hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. <laughs> well bloomed down glasswork. Screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? 
wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. Oh, where did you lost it? How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Hmm. Be seeing you. I look forward to it. Okay. The weather, the weather never ever does a thing for me. Prepare to be boarded, then, Winslow. <laughs> oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. <laughs> oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary bacon present. Bacon grease. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine gonna be PO'd? I feel like that's gonna be um, useful for something. No, champion, you are the best. And Andy and the dead How would you enjoy this playthrough? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I love this series. The doctor is busy. Oh, this is the doctor's place? Mmm. Flowers. What oh. a crummy sconce. Uh, I better pick this up before someone notices um trips over it. Oh, I got something. Swordfish? Oh no no, I was trying to use the uh the thing. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early creepy. Okay, so we got some flower pot and a flyer. Right, let's keep going. What about the swordfish? I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early creepy. Oh, 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 my nose. Sounds like he's busy. Anything else we can grab? Why are the windows like coughing pretty much? see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Free foul! Ahoy there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streepwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself. I be Gaffer Crimp Digit, pirate glass blower. Oh. How do crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and you can kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. So, unicorns, huh? I. Graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. Wait, they already said that. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole. You can kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, 
Shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's wind. Yikes. What's this alphabet sale all about? It's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty oh, mantles, nice. or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very can. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Yes. Well, I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go. A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? <laughs> All sold out. All we got is YouTubes these days. YouTubes? Uh oh. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> okay, what about this place? Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. It's locked. Arr. The only people allowed in me studio are me, myself, and I. Can I get another one for free? Free vowel! I'm back! Hi! So you are! Oh, I can't. I'll let you return to your fancy schmancy glass blowing. Aye, and I'll let you return to being a pest. Wait, before we go that way, will we check everything here? Yeah, okay. I think we're going into the forest this way. What it looks like. Hmm. Carvings of mermaids. Or are they mermen? Oh, here we go. Streetwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinary. What happened to the hand? Uh, I think uh, when I uh, when I attacked the truck with the sword, something happened to my hand. It looks like I'm becoming a zombie. I might be a zombie by <laughs> the longer takes me to get rid of this what were you doing down there nothing it looked like you were playing with dolls they're not dolls they're fully articulated porcelain power pirates what kind of treasure do you hunt gold doubloons silver triploons anyone can find gold or silver i look for the rarest of pirate treasures I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. What? What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate pear flavored breakfast cereal. <laughs> I've spent years <laughs> tracking them down. You're playing Resident Evil 2? Full set. No. How many PP pirates do you have left? The only power pirate I have not found is the ultra rare, impossible to find dark ninja Dave with killer karate. Oh, thank you, I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scam? Jace. Some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a Ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? 
Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Hmm. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? Oh, it's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Okay, we need to find that. Uh... Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I love pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. <laughs> Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. Look! It's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action! Quit! <laughs> okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Alright, he hates porcelain. Ew. I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leaf. Okay, now we have an action figure, the YouTube, a map, oh yeah, we gotta click on this. That jungle sure is noisy. Well, naturally at these games, nah. Okay, what are we? Are we right here? I wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah, we haven't checked. Uh, it's Pink this. Pajama Pierre, one of Doro's porcelain power pirate action figures. It's a U-shaped tube. The U must stand for unbreakable, I guess. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. can go back to the entrance if you get lost I guess oh okay so the the jungle entrance there's something there that we can't go to I forgot something. Let's go this way. Oh, it's the same thing. What about this way? Okay, this is new. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. I don't think it would look good there. Hmm, curious. I don't think it would look good there. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. 
Uh, I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. Oh no. Oh wow. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Calendar. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Uh, let me use the map. Is there a calendar anywhere? Not really. Oh, I did the same thing. Gotta get used to the control. Alright, let's go. Pile of bombs. Smiling stands, young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch and mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. Hmm. You know, I better just take all of them. Yeah, just take all of them. Yep. That's a good idea. And good chompy. Can we put a bomb in this thing? I don't want to blow that up. There's no place to put it. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. If this Morgan LaFlay pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads, I'd better give him a wide berth. Going. Oh, we're back here. Okay, let's see what's uh, this way. Oh. Hello. What's the word? What's the word? Yo, what's the word? I'm selling this fine leather jacket. Heel hauler. Oh. Look through the window. What's the word? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Oh. Well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? This is where I am. Creepy shack. But we haven't found all these locations yet. Only that one. We need to keep looking around and find more locations. Okay, maybe this way. Oh shoot. On guard. Hmm. Curious. blow that up I don't want to sacrifice that sacrifice this oh foolish power pirate your porcelain parts will be sacrificed to um Bob the lord of the seas my kidneys. My kidneys. Wait. Why did you pick it up again? I don't want to 
want to sacrifice that. Ah! Hello again. Hi. Stop doing that. Hmm. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. Well, I've got pirate news to make and you've got dolls to play with, so I'll just be on my way. They're not dolls. Take that. Okay, let's take a look at what we have. We have the YouTube, probably to make some liquid to go through the tube. We have bombs, action figures, flowers. Let's go back to the town. Okay, do we have anything that this guy would like? Maybe this map? I don't think so. Oh. Would you like an action figure? I'm not giving this away. It could pay for my kid's pirate school someday. for me ahoy there ahoy there master threepwood <laughs> nice ship were you drunk when you built it <laughs> good one boyo but i didn't build the screaming narwhal it was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens were they drunk no but they had to use whatever floated ashore Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain. What? Until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Oh. That gives me an idea. Be seeing ya. I look forward to it. Okay, let's try combining things. I this too. Hmm. We got bombs. What can we bomb? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dang. Hot, hot, oh, hot. Ow. Okay, we need that. We and need now that. the dock is smoldering. Perfect. We need that. And now we can use the bombs. Okay, now what? Nah, throw. <laughs> Get off my... Take ship. that! I'm sorry. What exactly was I supposed to be taking? Never mind. Wait, what the hell? 
I can't even throw right. Damn it. Okay, what if I combine this with this now? It's gonna blow. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41. Probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Oh no. That hurt. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. And Dundee and the dead. Yeah, I don't know if let me try. <laughs> Oh, and a bottle of grog. We found the car to the club. Now we can go inside okay. the club. Now what? Now, put it inside the sock. Drunk. Man, these size 9 bombs won't fit in that size 3 sock. Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Oh, that works. Now use the crank. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh, monkey spit. <laughs> yes, those are some sturdy undies. Okay. We're getting close, but... I don't know how to do it yet. Hmm. It looks like this clothesline can be cranked from either side. Snazzy. Okay, let me try to use the crank with the pants. Maybe there's something inside the pants. I was getting close, but... It didn't work. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go inside the club. We can't go inside the club. Wait, is that any nose? Yeah, I have a nose right here. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. Oh. Oh, yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean grogatini. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What is happening? What a fight! That was spectacular, Driftwood. Best pirate brew ha I've seen in months. I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these Barfo pirate stories, Threepwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what is that thing? What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. Okay, so we got a miniature sword. Can we combine it with the toy? Oh. Hey, what do you know? That little teeny sword fits right into Pierre's little teeny hand. It still doesn't look very fearsome, though. 
Oh, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. What if we put him in the ink? Our pink pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre <laughs> is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess oh. it's true. Black really is slimming. Oh, that's how we get the um, the ninja. Now it looks like a ninja. This is clap. Let's go back to the guy. So I'm cracking this game wide open. Let's go. Is it to make Doro to finally get his hands on a dark ninja Dave or an unreasonable facsimile? I think it'd be a lot more newsworthy if he found it himself. Where? You want him to find it? Hmm. Jungle sure is noisy. We gotta decipher this map. So let's go find the one with the hole. Not this one. This one with the hole. It's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Okay, yeah, maybe I don't get it. this way okay how did I find that pew, 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 pew. oh right here Wish him well. Right here. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Oh. Arr, no. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. That could pollute the flotsam water supply, and not in a good and or funny way. Okay. Jungle sure is noisy. So we're in the at the well. Oh way. What is this thing called? The board? Or monkey D 
and a bird. So which one is north, south, west, or whatever? East. This is where we need to uh, hide the toy. I'm pretty sure. That could pollute the flotsam water supply, and not in a good and/or funny way. Hmm. Curious. This is amazing. Want your map back? Does it lead to a treasure? Um, not yet? Then I don't want anything to do. <laughs> oh, I need to give him the map back. But how do I decipher this map? Oh, wait, the creepy shack. Wait, let me go back to the creepy shack. Yeah, let me drink some water. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? Well, that's odd. It don't don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? They don't match at all. Uh, there's another wind thingy in the town. Let's go to the town. Hundred liters of Coca Cola. Okay, what is the wind thing? Oh, right there. N E W S. Hey, the wind directions spell news. This means something. Hey. Nah. I need to have the siphon this thing. How do I decipher this? Bumpy. Hmm. 
Okay, so we found the well. This is where we start with the map, as you can see. But which direction is this? One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four. There's gotta be something that tells me the directions. Wait, which way is the wind blowing all the time? Any news? It uh Wait, what is it? East? N E W S Hey, the wind direction spell news. This means something. Hey. Yeah, but that flag is not. Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! That contraption just screams mad scientist. Or at the very least, extremely miffed scientist. The doctor is busy. Bonjour. Hey! What happened to the other tank? I should probably come back after he's done with his patient. Hmm. Oh wait, you can hear them. Oh, you can hear it. That's how. That's how. Oh, that's so smart. I got it. I found the way. Can you hear it? Take that. Okay. So we gotta let's take a look at the map. Take a look. So we know the order. That jungle sure is noisy. So it's a uh, boar, monkey, bee. Boar, monkey, bee. Oh. Boar, monkey, bee. Okay, not this way. Okay, this way. Four. Monkey. I don't hear it. There is a ball, monkey. Gotta be the wrong way. Oh 
don't know if you try to go back you don't go back the same way Yeah, but there's no other way this way. What's the word? Nipperkin. The sound doesn't change from one place to the other, it changes a lot more often. Look at this. There is a different sound too. Sure is noisy. I'm pretty sure I found this place by accident before. And I was just running around. This place. I think it would look good there. Really? Hmm. Curious. Nope. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. This part is so confusing because the audio change every time. Not every time you switch cameras either. Like you move two steps that way and it change.
Also, what's up with these marks on the ground? Okay, that did something. This looks promising. Okay. Let's go this way now. Uh, which way should it go now? Oh dang! Oh shit! So far, so good. Okay, this way. This looks promising. Where I went up there, but this way. Darn. Fuck. Okay, we gotta go down. Oh, then. Okay. This looks promising. So far, so good. Looks promising. What? Dang. So far, so good. This looks promising. Maybe now we follow the track. Oh, the there we go. Wait, what now? But this is only gonna take me back the same way. Oh. We put it in the altar. Foolish power pirate, your porcelain and parts will be sacrificed to, um, Bob, the lord of the seas. Arr, me kidneys. No. <laughs> Oops. Fuck. So far, so good. This looks promising. Hey, we just need to learn the pattern, but... The, the oh, way. So now we follow this. We keep following. Now we go this way. Now. Let's try this way. Oh. Right here. Don't 
Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthily for famed auto mm -hmm. pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. And now let's get out of this place. Oh, that's the spot. Okay. Pretty cool. We solved this. Uh, let's give him the map. Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. And X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Well, I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the <laughs> other ones. Deals. Dark Ninja Dave with Chile Karate Katana. <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave. Dark Ninja Dave. <laughs> Fine. The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine. All mine. Ow. Oh, oh no. Dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me. Or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I'd better catch up with that wheezy primary before he has a coronary, or worse. Start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy Pirate, Threefoot, keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gun will be all yours! Okay, so he asked me for three things at the beginning. Fight, pressure, what was the other one? Ship. Oh, the ship. Okay. Okay, let's go. We need the ship. On how? Alphabet sail. Let's go make sure. Davy, what do you got for me, sleep good? I've still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Um, oh yeah, the ship. What kind of ships are there to seize on Flotsam Island? We've only got one ship on Flotsam, the Screaming Narwhal. It hasn't been seized in years. Hmm. I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so the only thing that we need is to kick uh, the captain out of the ship. We already know how to do it. Three but... vowels. Get him while they're vowels. We're missing something. Oh. And the and the dead winds crest you oh and the bottle of grog Hot 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 ow Hot 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 I don't know why I keep doing that I don't know it was for science Okay so we can use the bomb but we need to distract him with something. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. I can't use the items by themselves. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Can I use it with something else? I don't think they'd be amused by my YouTube offering.
Hmm. But yeah, isn't my clothes like... Clothes? This... Breathe? The weather never ever does a thing for me. How do I grease up this robe? Maybe that's what I need. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, so I know I can use this and put it on the sock. No, on the uh, underwear. But if I try to use the crank, he's gonna crank back and I need to distract him. Oh. If I give you a flower, will you allow me to seize the screaming narwhal? By Jove, lad! That is by far the silliest attempt to get me off this ship in months. So you'll do it? <laughs> of course not. You may be silly, but I'm not. <laughs> and and the dead winds crest you. Okay, now what? <laughs> How do we distract him, champion? Tell me. Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. What if I just wait until it's about to blow up and then use the crank? Now. Oh, monkey spit. Yeah, those are some sturdy undies. I could have been missing something. The dead winds crashed you. Who <laughs> in the bottle of grog? Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! We still have the flowers that I don't know what they are for, and it's like a nose. Would you like a flower? Me. Nee. Those things make me sneeze like a banshee. Which can be a real hazard when you're blowing molten glass. Hmm. Banshee sneeze. Who knew? You know anything about this pirate hunter? Le Flay? Ah, you'd best be steering clear of him if you know what's good for you. The way I hears it, his face is so hideously grotesque that most pirates slit their own throats at the mere sight of him. Right. No, really. I heard it. From a friend of a guy. A friend of a guy who slit his throat. Why? Hmm. Well, blow me down, Glassworks. <laughs> it's locked. Arr. The yeah. only people allowed in me studio are me, myself, and I... Alphabet sale. Um. <laughs> Any news? Hmm. Take a look at this. We haven't found this place. We know this 
cool. But there's a bunch more locations that we haven't found. Oh, they're not here anymore. He's not here. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. What's the word? You sound awfully familiar. What's the word? Is it pie? I hope it's pie. Fuck. What's the word? What's the word? I've been reliably informed that the bird is, in fact, the word. Damn it. What's the word? I haven't a clue. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. I don't want to get ink all over that. Actually, I kind of do, but I don't think it'll help. What is this for? I wonder what the artist was trying to say with this flower pot. Other than I need some more pottery lessons, of course. Tell me about this Morgan LaFlay guy. The pirate hunter? Oh, he's a mystery, that one. How so? Stories about LaFlay started trickling in about a year ago. Frightening, fantastical tales of a hard as nails pirate hunter with ice in his veins and death in his eyes. Spooky. Spooky, sure. But none of the stories jived. One pirate would testify to a daring escape from a red bearded giant. But the next would spin a yarn about a peg legged midget. Either there's a whole fleet of pirate hunters sailing around calling themselves Morgan LaFlay, or somebody's hiding something.
and I never ever ever do a thing about the weather because the weather never ever does a thing for me. burning that up. I might need it. Someday. Someday. I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Someday. I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Someday. Hey, do you know anything about this LaFlay guy? Morgan Lafley, beastly chap. Keeps a nest of trained scorpions in his beard. Or so the story goes. Scorpions, eh? I should try that the next time Elaine complains about crumbs in my beard. <laughs> hey, those things are heavy. <laughs> no, no need to explain that. Happens to the best of us. I don't think they'd be amused by my YouTube offering. Hmm. I just don't know what this knows with flowers. This for. Uh. No, because it's like a nose with hair coming out of the nose. Look at it. Oh, we can. Uh, it's like a nose with hair coming out. But I don't understand for what. No, I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. I don't think so. I don't want to blow that up. The first area that we get is a fucking mess. Oh, well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? Well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? This one has five. Stuck. I'm stuck. I was doing good, but we finally got stuck. I guess. Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! 
And I don't think we're missing that much, but whatever we're missing, I can't. I don't know. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. That's a good idea, but I should probably try lighting it first. And I never ever ever do a thing about the weather because the weather never ever does a thing for me. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. What am I missing? There's nothing up here. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Tell me about Flotsam Island. Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. So, unicorns, huh? Aye. Graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For me next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever settle these blasted horny buggers. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today, which is probably a good thing considering all the laws I'll be breaking. Hey. I don't want to get ink all over that. Actually, I kind of do, but I don't think it'll help. That place. I've been there, but I can travel back to that place. I hope no one notices that I've re-gifted this buried treasure spot. This is hmm, for. Curious. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Hmm. 
I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. I don't want to blow that up. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Something about that shack shivers me timbers. sacrifice that I don't want to sacrifice that I don't want to sacrifice that I don't want to sacrifice that okay I don't know what to do. Any news? It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Nipperkin wasn't kidding about news being slow on Flotsam. Davy. What do you got for me, sleep good? You just tell me how to contact Deep Gut. I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? Hmm. What's this Deep Gut person like, anyway? Trying to sneak some information out of me, eh? I can respect that, kid. Remind me oh, of me. Oh, we haven't done this. Rage. Oh, when was that? About 20 minutes ago? Do you really think Deep Gut can tell me what happened to Elaine and LeChuck and help me get off this island? If there's anyone who can help you with your problems, Skipwood, it's Deep Gut. Who 
Couldn't you just tell me how to contact Deep Gut? I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? I've still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I'm dead, Jumpy. I'm dead. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Three vowels. Get them while they're vowels. What? No, oh, don't please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Ha. Well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. Aye, bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations. No. I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel holler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the flotsam keel hauler gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now, about Deep Gut. My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gut file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nippikin. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gut. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this Deep Gut person how to get off this island and back to LA. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Deadline. Oh, that's the word. That's the word. Yep, we know the word. 
Okay, what is it? Oh, right here. Nah. What's the word? Deadline. Welcome. Oh, Nadia. another music. The voodoo lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions. There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. Uh. I tried to destroy LeChuck with the Cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions, and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human Nechuk. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. The cards say no. No? Can't you just wiggle your fingers and voodoo schmoodoo the winds to blow out? What you ask is beyond my power, Guybrush. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? Yo, Jesus! What was that? That oh, the was hand. the parks of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The parks of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was! Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. <laughs> Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechak, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him. And tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Do you have anything to stave off the pox of Lechuk? This hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the pox is La Esponja Grande. What else can you tell me about the pox of Lechuk? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading Lechuk's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the pox wending its way to this very island. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger! Or dead! Or worse! I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where LeChuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, LeChuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Uh, 
assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... La 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 la, not listening! Like a volcano! But after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. You know, you've been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Gybra Streepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. So you're Deep Gut, Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. <clears throat> it's locked. Yes, and it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. What's this? Ah, Joint. the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think you can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps, but first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magi. Make of that what you will. Magi? <laughs> Maybe the blowing uh, glass pirate. What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuck can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. La Esponja. Okay. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? 
I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. It's me, Garbor Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. I need that. Sorry. Need that. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use. Yo, there's so now. many things here. You gotta Who's check the everything. the pirate in the whole wide world? Arrgh! It's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. <laughs> we need to check everything in this place. I already found two. I was gonna leave, but I was checking everything. Murray? Oh, it's not Murray. I wonder what's in. Don't touch that. It's where I keep my. Unmentionables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't touch that. Okay, I think uh, that's everything. Worst air freshener ever. Alright, so we have three new items. The locket. The bottle. And the bottle. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's go. Hey there, three foot. Hey, you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the death cloud? Death cloud? Pox of LeChuck. The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of LeChuck. Nah. Two on the nose. Not enough for that. Death Cloud is punching. More on your face. <laughs> More. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Wait, what am I? Hello? Uh. Oh. Unicorns! Getcha! I'm back! Oi! So you are! What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. Oh. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Hey, can you open it for me? I mean, I, I might be able to use it with this. No? Could you use your nifty bottle breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! 37 pieces of eight. Oh, what? <laughs> I haven't got any pieces of eight. <laughs> pieces then I of guess eight. I won't be breaking any bottles for you. We need pieces of eight. Uh, you want it? I don't think they'd enjoy my parrot as much as I did. I miss them. Damn it, though. Okay. We need to make money now. Is the doctor available now? The doctor is in. Bonjour. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zitter! Your hand. 
Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! We must investigate at once! Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. So, how did dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were early days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. The king was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Hmm. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Yeah, uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! Incroyable! So, what's the verdict? <laughs> oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, man. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Hey! Oh no. But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood, the only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash. Which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted rog anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. Oh, no, no, we no. don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Oh, there's that key. Au revoir. What a loon. At least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Okay. The same examination table can be moved by using A and D. Oh, you can move it. Oh, that is sick. Huh. A stack of pictures. Oh, look at this. This looks like it might do something interesting. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! That looked unpleasant. Uh, what about the other one? Let's see what this does. Please Banana. don't fiddle with my assistant instruction pedal, mon ami. It is how you say, sensitive. It's a key. I can't reach it from this position. I've heard of these. I think they're called microscopes. I prefer the term in large drama. Ah, and I prefer to rip your gizzard out, you snivelling sea slug. Whoa, what was that? Okay, 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 okay. What are we doing? It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. Oh, wait. Maybe like this? Huh. 
a stack of pictures. Oh, remember the key? Feats don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Good monkey. Yuck! Bad monkey! <laughs> After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? That's the universal symbol for yes. Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, banana god. Wait, what is it doing? It's a beautiful rendering of the classic Pirate Da Vinci. That's the key to Singe used to lock me down. If only it weren't so far away. <laughs> Why he looks that way? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I don't get it. my experimental futro volume which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little voids why would you do that science <laughs> I also... it's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand I call it la de saint -Gerap. I call it creepy um... come on Jacques help a guy out Wonderful. Huh, a stack of pictures. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is he enjoying this? the key to singe used to lock me down if only weren't so far away um come on Jacques help a guy out wonderful <laughs> sick little monkey yeah, when I click this it's bell, it's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. It did something. The monkey did something. Oh. Oh, I get it now. So if we hit click the banana, he's gonna look at the frame or picture, and he's gonna try to do something, whatever is on the picture. cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. What if I shock him now? <laughs> oh! He did something. The monkey knocked over that picture of my hand, but I can't reach it from here. Alright, feet. Make yourselves useful. 
All right. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Uh, what should I put it here? I can't reach it from this position. Hi. Whoops. I meant to do that. Go get me the key, boy. Come on, monkey. Grab the key. That's the key to send you to lock me down. If only weren't so oh. far away. Oh, we shock him now. Oh, there we go. Wow, an electromagnetic monkey. Now we need to I bring him like back to my head. Only he was man. an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. We need him back. Wow, he seems excited about something. There we go. Okay, give me that That's key. it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Hmm? Gotcha. Now to work the key into the lock. Monsieur Sripoud, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Thank you, monkey. Leaving their trash floating all over the place. Hmm. A parrot hunter. No. He's gonna send the hunter after me. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? What's up with this locket? Now we can explore the ship too. We haven't explored the ship. Welcome aboard, sir. Ben Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. Don't. Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. Okay, he'll be here when the, when I change the wind. Yes, it's a rollicking pirate adventure for me. Just as soon as the winds start blowing away from the island. We need gold. We need pieces of eight. Oh, this? A cheese wheel. Monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. Starving rats, huh? Hey, it's one of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa. The oh, the really wind. A number on that cannonball. Hey, 
Be beautiful unicorns! Oops. My bad. Wait, is that a map? It's a detailed map of the entire Gulf of Melange. This thing will come in handy if I ever get off this Fischlinger Island. Yeah, pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Uh, That's open. the main mast of the screaming Whatever narwhal. It's called. Or main tree. That's a tightly sealed barrel of tar, used for patching up cracks and hazing bosuns. Oh, can we can we get some? I don't think anything short of explosive force is gonna open up that tar barrel. Okay, let's take a look at this because I don't even know what it is. Once I get off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this Decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. Oh, that's what it is. Why well, looks like part of the trees? Uh, Alright, let's go check on that guy. running the fire probably torched the scroll long before it broke open the bottle what happened to all your ingredients oh yoink joint it's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire joint i was lucky i was just testing everything Yow. Elaine, here I come. Or um, maybe not. What? An invisible. Oh, let's get it on the ink. On the ink. Uh, that might do something. Oh no, it's sad. Can we grab some of this paper? Nipperkin wasn't kidding about news being slow on Flotsam. Can. Alright, let's try putting the ancient scroll in this. I don't want to get ink all over that. What? Actually, I kind of do, but I don't think it'll help. Really? I wonder who can help me with this worthless map. It's locked. No way I'm giving this away after all the trouble I went through to get it. Hey there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock McGee. Oh, this is my king. You hmm? couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams. Uh, Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? Because the two diamond cannon cloggers kicked me out! Why? The club has a strict no feet, no service clause. Talk about adding insult to injury. <laughs> Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? I, I've been training a Sasothi Zany Zephyr since I <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I, but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stubbed me toe. When I went to that butcher of Assange, he cut me leg off. Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. Can I see your ancient scroll? Pray not, Skippy. 
some two-bit witch stolen from me in a poker game a few months ago. Won't do any good without my eye of the manatee, though. <laughs> Keen. Can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's hangnails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long-dead civilization? Mm. <laughs> I was thinking I could carry on your work to make amends for the whole getting your leg hacked off thing. Ah, fine. Can't use it anymore anyhow. Nice. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. This looks promising. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. We got another one of these. Okay, so we need to find this place. Oh, that's the ritual table. Okay, ritual table. Fuck, I clicked the wrong thing. Ritual table, let's go. We just gotta find the ritual table. Not there. Okay, now we just need to figure it, figure it out. Wrong. Correct. Oh wait, it doesn't bring me back? No way. This looks promising. So good. So down. This looks promising. Left. Wait. Oh. So, wait, down and left. Let me take a look at this. So B is down. Monkey left. So now it's cloud is probably up. B is down, monkey left. B down, monkey left. Remember, champion, the B is down, monkey is left. Are you listening? B down, monkey left, and the cloud, I think, is up. Darn. Fuck. Never mind. The B down because I go down and so far, it's so good. the B. Now monkey is to the left. Now the cloud is to the right. Drat. Never mind. Oh, if I don't interact with the table, 
Do some bring me back. Left. Now I tried those two, right? There we go. So the cloud is up, down, left, up. Are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? Down, left up now we're here so up down up 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 down up 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 down up up oh dang but what so far so good they're really wrong Once we're here, this looks promising. Oh, we need to use the flower. Here? Oh, we need to use the flower. Oh, I see. Okay, so now it's up, down, up, up. Oh, up, down, up, 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 down, up, up. Dang! Wait, what? This looks promising. Maybe it changed when when you use the flower. So good. Oops. Okay, not that way. This looks promising. So far, so good. Okay, we're almost there. We tried up and left. I mean, you can see the the marks here. Yeah. No. Nope. Darn. Alright. This looks promising. There's only one more way we can go. So good. Okay, so now I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. This looks promising. Right. So far, so good. So it's like the whole thing uh, changed, and instead of the cloud being up, it's right and right and left. Okay, I get it. You are so good. I think I got it now. This looks promising. We get here. We use the flowers. Now the cloud turns. It's like the whole map turns. We gotta go right. So far, so good. Left. Nothing is right. I'm right. Wait, is this gonna be right or down? Am I? Fuck it, let's try it. Oh, monkey spit! This looks promising. Damn it. Okay. 
I will go right, left, up. Rat. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's go. This looks promising. We're getting there. We're getting there. So far, so good. This looks promising. There's some... There's some footprints going down that way. Should I try it that way? Should I follow the footprints before the nest? Ah. Oops. So far, so good. Ah, we are so close now. We are literally... Right there. This looks promising. So far, so good. So far, so good. And this way. This looks promising. I don't know if I gotta check the calendar. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Alright, let's go down this time. Wait, what? Did you see that? Wait, something glow. We made that sound too. When I move around. Oh, fuck. oh dang. So far so good. You gotta be joking. This me. looks promising. They're so close, but I don't know if I'm missing something there. I shouldn't. There's nothing on the map. Are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? Oh. So... Oh wait. What is this? Oh. so good but so I tried up and down but go back what Darn. this looks promising I'm missing something there so far so good I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. No, don't do that again. <laughs> oh, this looks 
looks promising. This looks promising. Yeah, what about this? Hmm, <laughs> curious. So far, so good. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. I run down, it's yellow. Oh, that one is green. Wait, what? Okay, I did something. Oh, you gotta run around the thing. Okay, oh, now I get stick. it. This looks promising. Now I get it. That's why there's like a spin in the circle. Like a arrow spinning. Wait, no, no, this way. On the map. Now I get it. Oh no, we gotta go back. So good. So far, so good, gay brush. Gay brush, triple. Okay, so now this we gotta promising. spin around. And go right. Dang. So far, so good. Fucking maze in the first chapter. We got a maze in the first chapter of the game. Because why not? This looks promising. So we try it down and right. Now let's try out. There we go. Whoa. Uh oh, someone's coming. I never thought I'd have to come out here. Oh, this again. guy. But it'll be worth a temporary fluctuation in floods and winds to get my hands on Sweepwood's hand. <laughs> hands on his hand. How troll. What was that all about? And what's behind that door? Maybe I can move the door by pushing on this giant crystal nose. <laughs> Nope. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. I get it now. Okay, so we need that thing that he's using. I don't know what to do with all this item. I bet this thing would be really impressive if I knew what the heck all these inscriptions meant. Oh, the encryption. We 
okay we finally got a new place uh, we got the entrance the treasure the giant doorway we're still missing a few locations but now right, let's go back to the docks and this game is fun okay so now we need the key that he has this piece of shit I'm pretty sure he's up there yeah it's danger doc yeah oh, it's you unless you're here to volunteer your hand to the advancement of science i have nothing to say to you for now You know, there's other sick pirates infected with the same disease as my hand. Why don't you cut off their limbs? Oh, I have. But your case is special somehow. I must have that hand. Mm, how about no? We'll <laughs> just see about that. <laughs> hmm. What are you doing out here? Don't you have some mildly injured pirates to mangle? I'm investigating these wondrously icky green clouds that have settled over Flotsam Island. Bye. Au revoir. For now. Dr. Boy. DeSinge? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Are you sure you don't know anything about Flotsam's winds? What are you insinuating? It occurs to me that the weird winds around here have been pretty good to you, giving you a steady supply of patience and all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, confess. You're the guy behind all these freaky winds, aren't you? What an outrageous accusation! Do you have any proof? <laughs> um... <laughs> I thought not. Good day, sir. I said good day. Okay, so we can't even get to the door. Dr. DeSinge? Yeah. That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. We can't even get to the door. Bye. Au revoir. For now. Because it's, it's up there. Okay. Time to find something Alphabet else. Sail. I'm back. Hi. So you are. Hmm. How's the glass blowing biz? Arr! It'd be in serious trouble, Sonny. Some thieving scoundrel stole me one of a kind bottle breaker. The devil, you say? Well, without me bottle breaker, I can't break open me unbreakable bottles. And if I can't break them open, who's gonna wanna buy them? I'm ruined. You could always go back to pirating. Are you soft in the head? What kind of blankety blank pirate would I be without a ship? Or winds? More eyebrows. Um, I'll let you return to your fancy schmancy glass blowing. Aye, and I'll let you return to being a pest. Uh, uh, I do have his thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna need it. Should I give it to him? I don't think they'd enjoy my parrot as much as I do. Yeah, let's try it. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Oh. Oh. Darn, I've broken the U2. I better get another. Wait, I've broken the YouTube. But what the use for that? I'm back. Hi, so you are. I'll take another one of your YouTubes, please. What happened to the last one? I am um, lost it. All right, here you go. Lucky for you, no one else seems all that interested in me YouTube offerings. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. 
die. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh. I don't need to see that in manatee vision. Hey there. What do you want now? What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <laughs> aside from some idiot <coughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> um, yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Singe. Oh. The Marquis de Singe cut off your legs? I Not only once, of course. He cut off the first leg seven years ago. After I stubbed me toe while investigating the winds of Hudson Island. That seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Ponzi Git has it <coughs> in for me. You know, even aside from the legs, you're looking a little green at the gills. I think you should mind your own beeswax, you lily liver chum sucker! <laughs> Whoa. What was that? What was what? That old getting sick. So long. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so what do we have? This real. Polly want a cracker? It's me, Garbor Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. What is this? Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Oh. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Wait, now we can follow the wind? Assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. There's nothing new here. Do you know anything about the Marquis de Singe? I do not trust that man, nor do I understand him. He tried to cut off my hand. This does not surprise me. Scientists such as Desange will shatter the soul of the world to answer a few petty riddles. The fates alone know what he's done to this poor island. I found evidence that Desange has been manipulating the winds of Flotsam Island. Then you must work to restore them. 
Ill winds such as these are not natural and must be returned to the proper balance. That's what Elaine always says on taco night. What? Mm. Why didn't you tell me that grog could be used to stave off the effects of the pox? Grog? Grog won't cure the pox of the chuck. It will only make it worse. How can grog make anything worse? Your hand may seem fine now, but when it wakes up, it'll be even nastier than ever. You've just got a thing against grog. Don't get up. I'll find my own way out. Be well, Treepwood. What's this? That is a shrine to Noor Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Nope. Yummy. Let's go back to that big uh, portal thing. Maybe I missed something there. I don't think I missed anything. Crystal knows. I don't need to see that manatee vision. Oh. Oh. Looks like I cut off the door's nose to spite its face. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Wait, nasal cavity. And I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. No, I just didn't. I don't need to see that in manatee vision. that a YouTube would be useful there. Wait. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. I can't tell what it is. What is this? Why do I still have that map? idea. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Streetboy, Mighty Pirate. I've got a mission for you, little parrot. Go to the other side <laughs> no of the store and open it from the other side. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Streetboy, Mighty Pirate. Wait, how is he gonna open okay, the door? Champion, open the door. Oh, you dumb as ah, It's me, Guybrush Streetboy, Mighty Pirate. And yet there's still something downright charming about it. Wait, what now? I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Wait, so you shoved that thing in there? I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Cavity. This is a nose. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Fuck. Okay, combine it. Don't break it yet. Don't break it yet. Broken the YouTube. I better get another. Oh wait, what is this? Sometimes it's all I can do to save a little face. 
Oh, hold on. Really? I thought that my world. Fuck. Ancient door face. Civilization worships manatees. I don't need to see that in manatee vision. I don't need to see that in manatee vision. Mm -hmm. What makes sense? I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. There's something interesting in there. Uh, I hope the Marquis doesn't mind that I've broken the face off his ancient manatee door thingy. says this thing's the key to his scroll. Of course, McGee also drinks a lot. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. It's a mysterious ancient instrument for breaking mysterious ancient crystals. Ugh, this cheese wheel's starting to go soft. Maybe I shouldn't be storing it in my pants. to go soft. Three fowls! Get him while there! I'm back! Aye! So you are! I'll take another one of your YouTubes, please. What happened to the last one? Uh, I, um... Alright. I'll let you... Aye. Okay, can we combine this with the two? Still have fire here. I'm not burning that up. I might need it someday. Mm -hmm. I'm not burning that up. I might need it someday. I've got a ship again. Now, if only these stupid winds would stop sucking, I could sail away and find Elaine. What about the fish? I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Someday. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. It's a tightly sealed barrel of tar, used for patching up cracks and hazing bosuns. How can we open this barrel? We even know. I don't to think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. Explosive.
Yes, it's a rollicking pirate adventure for me. I'm stuck. Jerk would do that. <laughs> I don't know, but when I find that stuffer scraper, I'll shove one of me bottles so deep up his fundament. Mm -hmm. Arr! What's a fundament? That's cheesy enough as it is. What about the ink? I don't want to get ink all over that. Actually. I don't... Actually. Um... I don't think so. Fuck, I threw the bed inside. It's gotta be a reason for that. I throw the bed to the hole. That's cheesy enough as it is. Oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Cheesy enough as it is. There's something I'm lost. Nope. I'm lost, dude.
What if I show this guy the mask? Dr. DeSinge? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Does this look familiar? Oh. Where'd you find that? It uh, fell off that creepy ancient door in the jungle. An ancient door with a manatee head in the jungle? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, sure, but you might want to check it out someday. Looks like it could be pretty interesting, scientifically speaking. I'm heading back there now to break through the door with my piratey wiles. First, I'll need some dynamite. Uh, then a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, and then some <laughs> sort of rudimentary lathe. <laughs> He'll never open that door without my key. Still, I'd better follow him from a safe distance, just to make sure he doesn't upset my long-term plans. Uh-oh. Ah, so it appears that Monsieur Freefood has found the Vicarian Port du Vent. Not a little parrot boy. Is anybody in there? Ah, it's me, Garbo Freefood, Whitey Pirate. What? How did? He... Oh shit! I can't believe he fell for that. And the thing. This looks like it might be useful. Who's the cleverest pirate in the whole wide world? Ah, it's me, Garbo Streetboy. Mighty pirate. That's funny. Holy ships! Oh, it's a giant. Uh... Sweetwood. Well played, Monsieur Sweetwood. You have forced me to reveal the location of the hidden temple. But without my help, a simpleton like you will never be able to figure out which of the so-called wind gods must be summoned to master. I got in, Trumpy. And I will reveal nothing. That's a wind control device. Thanks for telling me. You didn't know? Ugh. I can see it's time for this Marquis to take matters into his own hands. Wait, doesn't that thing look like this item? Exactly the same. Damn shell. Wait. Oh, but that one is closed. It's locked. Yeah, that one is locked. Oh, we're opening all of them. And now I don't. Whoa. Now I don't know what to do with this. The winds are still blowing in. Looks like I've got some ancient wind gods to summon. I wonder if that idol can be used to summon wind gods. Yeah, we gotta use this now. How? Wait, I've seen those symbols before. Not the. Guess I didn't do whatever I was supposed to do. Oh, I don't. Oh, wait, I've seen this symbol somewhere. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, that looks like uh, LeChuck. A little bit, no? Weird. I wonder if the wind gods on the idols are related to the ones on the weather vane. Faces on those idols look familiar. Yeah. I see. Which one is the truck? That is the truck phase I'm not, right? Hmm. Oh, I see. 
That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Nothing. Wonder if the wind gods on the idols are related to the ones on the weather bank. On the weather. Interesting. Where, where, where? So, depending on where the wind is blowing. Okay. I see. So three eyes. Wait. Fuck, it, it, it lasts too short. The three eyes, then... Looks what? like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. It's not that one, because I haven't seen those symbols on this. So it's gotta be the other one for sure. The other one is... Hmm. Okay, it's a different mouth and a different eye. Different eye. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, I see. Here. This one, that one. Interesting. And this one. been the god of winds that knock off your hat. Sweetwood. What the fuck? You are emphysted fumblings and surrender that hand. Make me. What is this place? Now that the door is open, I really don't want to close it again. Okay, go through the door. Oh, it brings me back. Wait, did I pick my thing? My wind, uh, thing? My duty? Yes, we got it. Nice. Because I know there's more of those. And we just gotta find them. Dude, there's one right here. Oh, but it's missing one of the things. Okay, there's one. Aha! Okay, so this. Ugh. This one looks like it's missing a nose. Fuck. Ah. What about this one? Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. Much better. Well, better anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Use it. Perfect. Hmm. I wonder what wind god that was supposed to. Ew. Broken wind. Got it. Report. Step away from that delicate machinery and give me your hand. And if I don't? <laughs> what a grouch. Oh. 
This one is locked. We need to find more of those statues. We already know how to solve it, but... I need to find the statues first. At this one, but this one is missing a bit. Maybe the face can just sit here? This idol looks like it's missing something. Yeah, no shit. Mm, no. think so oh the the cheese wait the cheese plus something hmm. not a bad fit yeah but I better put this cheese back in my pants before a wandering capybara gobbles it up. But what? I can't turn the cheese. I think it's missing something. wonder what I'm doing wrong. French idol. Can we put anything on the cheese? I don't need to see that in manatee vision. Nah. Nope. Like two triangles. Okay, this one we can't finish yet. Doesn't even have an axle. It'll never work like this. It doesn't have an axe. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Fuck. It's locked. Nothing happened. I guess it's broken. I don't know much about ancient idols, but this one looks really broken. Okay, that one is broken, but... How do we fix it? Okay, maybe now he's distracted and I can go inside the, uh, the lab again. But yeah, he's not there anymore. Oh. It's locked. It's fucking locked. 
think this thing only works on ancient flotsam artifacts. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for the pox of Lechuk oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with flotsam stubbornly sucking winds to create a Cat 5 crud storm. I'm a chompy. An empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in Brig. Those oh, eye carvings are is. creepy. Wait, this is the ones that I'm in. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Wait, those are the eyebrows that I need. Oh, wait. I know what would cheer up these gruesome carvings. Cheese! There we go. Eh, nope. Still menacing. Perfect. Oh, and now my cheese wheel is staring at me. Nice. We got the eyebrows. We need an axle for the other one. How do we get an axle? I think that a YouTube would be useful there. I feel like this pick would be nice for it. Um, we need a knack or a knack, please. Whatever the fuck is called. Yeah, we can finish one of them. Let's go do it. We gotta find it again. Night one cheese. Oh, you know what? It will it will be really nice. A big bowl of melted cheese with some nachos. Oh my god. Didn't think it was possible, but this idol's cheesier than ever. Okay. Here we go. Could be that one, right? Yeah. Oh, Santa Maria Conchita Alonso. I knew I should have worn my chinos today. Ah, that must be the wind that makes you reconsider wearing shorts. Hmm, no sign of the marquee. Good. All that shooting was giving me a headache. Oh. I'm still missing something, though. Maybe that one is the last one that you do and you can stick this all the way down. I don't know. Let's try to find that place again. <laughs> that is the hard part. Finding the place.
Dude, what is that place? Okay, let's figure out the final wind idle thingy and get the heck sorry for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hey, look! It's King Louis the Twelfth! My liege! I thought you were dead! Okay, we gotta do something. Uh... Uh, maybe this? Can I do something? Darn, I've broken the YouTube. I better get another. Yeah! Okay, we think the singer's rifle is just as wimpy as the man who built it. We definitely need to do something there. And it's gotta be something with this. Because it's gonna be waiting for me. Still here? Yeah. But of course. How'd you beat me here anyway? <laughs> Once I heard the sir change in the winds, it was child's play for a scientifically trained intellect of my stature to deduce which of the four winds remained. So now what? Now, my annoying pirate friend, you hand over that ancient liverometer device. I restore the winds to their full sucking force. And you accompany me to my laboratorium so that I can properly remove and study your hand with the pointy sticks of science! Laborometer? The scene with the seahorse on it! Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll be giving you that. What can we do here? Because I don't know. I, I think we need to use the glass breaking thing. But maybe I gotta use it on the gun. I should have done that before. Maybe you put the glass on the gun and then blow on it? I don't know. Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass! I'm back. Wait, this is not the one. Try this again. We oui. let. Oh my! It's King Louis the Thirteenth. Mon Dieu! What was that fooping sound? Oh, it's me. Now, if you'll just stop waving that rifle around, I've got some winds to change. Not so fast, insignificant pirate person. Sacre merde! Merda. Okay, so, 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 so. Do you see?
Randomly spinning these dials is getting me nowhere. Randomly. doesn't come back to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Zutella! The winds! Do you have any idea what you've done? Without the winds of flotsam bringing me a steady supply of injury-prone paratest subjects, the pace of my groundbreaking experiments was slow to a crawl! Talk to the hand, sicko, cause the pirate ain't listening. Ugh! Mark my words, Threepwood. You'll rue the day you cross the Marquis de Singe. <laughs> Your little and tooth. Rue? I don't know the meaning of the word. Well, looks like my work here is done. I better hurry back to the screaming narwhal before the flotsamites get wind of the, um, wind. Ben Winslow, where are you? Right here, sir. Raise anchor and get us the heck out of here before the winds change. With pleasure, Captain. Congratulations, sir. A screaming narwhal has successfully escaped from Flotsam Island. Where to now? Hmm. Rock of the Lad. Mr. Van Winslow, if you would be so kind, I would like you to set sail for. Uh, what? Come again, sir? I said set a course for. Come on! Come on, what, sir? Okay. Map. Winslow? Sir? Set a course for here. Hey! Oh. Whoa! Ow! Dude, what the fuck? The hand is not gonna let me do it. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. Might be useful. Ow! Hmm, this tar might be useful. Ow! Fucking hand? Nothing like a deafening cannon discharge to clear the mind. Main mast of the screaming narwhal, or main tree. Captain on deck. Whoa. Oh shit! Okay, something is happening down here. 
the tar and the can. Oh, now we can open it using the can. Yeah, I see. Put the can. That's just swell. My brand new ship's all covered with tar. This is all your fault, you know. Ow! Okay. Hey, I bet this sticky puddle of tar would be perfect for trapping my evil hand. Well, I guess I shouldn't have tipped my, um, hand. Do it. With what, though? Now, why would I want to get that? That's what I call a sticky situation. God damn it. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> this tar might be useful. Ow! I don't know what to do now. Gelato. Now to find Elaine. Mr. Van Winslow, my spyglass. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. Elaine's ship looks pretty good considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. Well, where's my ship? And Elaine? Is she out looking for me? Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the. Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. It's my ship. Winslow, full enhancement. <laughs> Elaine, I'm coming, Plunder Bunny. Wait, what's that? Oh, LeChuck. Oh, no, it's LeChuck. Elaine, look out! Plunder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Wait, who's this? Could you wait a little longer? No. Yo, that was an amazing chapter. I loved it. it was super fun. Good. And right on time. Right on time. Oh, that was so fun but yeah when i when i read that there was a telltale game about monkey island i thought it was a classic telltale game but this is like a monkey island game like a classic monkey island game. and for now they did a great job with it Oh, that was so good. It is really good. I'm really enjoying it. What do you think, champion? It was good, right?
Yeah, we didn't really get stuck. It's not the hardest Monkey Island game. But it, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, I love that they have all the all the voices and everything. Yeah. Who was talking to me with the sword at the end? I've been waiting for this. Who who is she? I don't know, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. yeah we'll end the stream here thank you so much for being here love you all take care have a good night and we'll continue tomorrow there's five episodes and this is episode one no oh, thank you champy you're amazing Yeah, this was really fun. I was expecting a different gameplay from this game, but no, it's a classic Monkey Island game. Right, let me save the game. The finale. Oh, it's already saved. Alright. Okay, we'll play episode 2 tomorrow. Yeah, have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come out.